We're here in our Hankumhing flagship store. The interior design idea here is uh, definitely based and focused on Danish design in the 1950s. We have a lot of inspiration from Paul Kerholm, Arne Jacobsen, uh, Finn Juhl as well, interpret into how we feel that they would work well with our brand. We moved in in this space back in 2012. We felt this was a space where we, within the fixed architecture, could play around with some of the references that we already had. I have a background in graphic design, advertising, uh, being a creative director. Tim in the fashion business, in sales and production. And we just felt that us two combined could bring something to the table. We got an opportunity to start out doing eyewear. So that was kind of our platform, that was the first thing we did. And from there, we just kind of kept reinvesting the little money we earned in that product and kept keep building, creating, and then of course also added apparel line and other accessories to the collection. What we also done in the store, we designed the furniture. We felt that we could uh, create a space which has both a retail perspective and the DNA and environment that we stand for. Uh, since we're from Denmark, luckily we have a lot of uh, great heritage within design. And we, we used a lot of oak, but also linears in terms of furniture. We wanted to have a more design-driven aspect to it rather than just functionality. We always have a saying that functionality comes last and design first. It wasn't like we sat down and had a 10-year plan. I think a lot of the things evolved due to the different backgrounds we come from. We always look at different ideas and perspectives, but if you put something out there, you always have to compete against the best. And there's a lot of people who are really good at doing one thing isolated. And I think what the strengths within our company is when we put something out there has a purpose. I think we are very aligned that it would not change radically. I think what we do, especially on apparel, which is so physical, reflects who we are and the state of mind that we have. The DNA of us as persons will remain within the brain, I think, as long as we are a part of it.